You sure that's your name? Yeah, yeah, what's your name? It don't matter tonight. I'm just kidding. It don't matter. Yeah. So like you be my man for the night? For the night, I'll not do, the week. I'll do something to you. Yeah. Say. What do you say? She ain't, she ain't dark skin and petite. Not my kind. What is up, Ruth Crew? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's Rated Ruth. If you're back, to, if you're new to the YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Um, so let's talk about the obvious, and that let's talk about episode. What was it? Of Love Island USA. Literally, I just freaking finished episode. What's it, episode six? Let's talk about episode six of Love Island USA. Like, there's just so much to unpack. <sighs> All right, let's just jump into it. So. Let's just start off with couple number one. Let's talk about Cordell and Serena. Cordell and Serena. Serena tells Cordell in this episode that she actually doesn't want to be with him like anymore. Like she, she like finally breaks it loose and she's like, "Yeah, I don't think I want to be with you anymore." But after, before she even did that, she was telling all the girls that like, I don't know, like, like with Cordell, like I feel like I want to give him a kiss today. Like I feel like he deserves it. Next. I think I'm but I feel like she felt that way because she missed him in the challenge like she was like I know he's the one eating kiss and like she wasn't able to do a challenge so she wanted to do it like outside of the challenge because she felt bad now that she actually like truly genuinely felt like because as soon as she got to talking to Cordell she just blanked but I'm glad she let him know, and I really, really hope Cordell and Nicole work out. Like, the way, the way Nicole, like, kissed him, I said, she, and Nicole is a vixen. She lifted up the blindfolds and started kissing Cordell. I said, oh my god, oh my gosh. I said, I love this for you. I love this for you. I oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, Cordell. I love this for them. Now, what almost like, bro, 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 what freaking Nicole kiss Kendall, like the best friends, like, and and Hannah was sitting next to Kendall. I was like, I know Hannah was flipping her script. She was like, I should have treated this man a little bit nicer. Oh, what's going on? Shouldn't have played all those games earlier in the challenge. But I feel like Kendall was always going to leave. I feel like he was never really interested in, in Hannah. And he only, like, worked with her because she was, his, like, his only option. So I take it as, honestly. Because I feel like, I feel like Kendall feels like he's better than her. Like, I feel, I can see it in his actions. Like, I can see it. Like, I'm, I, I'm not wrong with these things. Um, So I'm hoping, but I do hope Kendall and, and Nicole don't work because I want my man Cordell to be happy. And if Cordell doesn't find anyone, I'm waiting on the outside for him with arms wide open in a big heart and what's that what is it what's that one thing oh, with arms wide open and legs red my legs aren't spread open for sure um um uh so let's move on to leah and rob rob is gonna make me mad like he is diabolical i really just want to like because like why 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 so leah was never the type Leah was never your type because when he saw, when he took off that blindfold and saw what freaking Andrea looked like, I said, it's over with. I said, ah, it is finished because he said in the, in the like next clip in the next episode, he was like, it's the prettiest girl I've ever seen. He's all those nights. I mean, that's one of the most beautiful I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's folded. It's over with. It's over with for Hannah. And I'm so sick that it is. Cause you did all those sweet things for Hannah just to turn your back and do that nonsense. You should have just not done all that other stuff because it would be so easy for Hannah to like just let it go. And I feel like completely right if she do, if she's upset because he was like looking like, looking at Andrea like roll the clip, roll the clip. Tomorrow night. I mean that's one of the most beautiful. Ones. Exactly the way he was looking at her after the kiss was diabolical i wish i wish freaking um i'm not hannah i wish leah would have seen it i really wish leah would have freaking seen it because she would have been like i'm in for a long ride but i think she already knows that anyway but yeah that was crazy work and honestly rob saying that he wasn't even mad at leah for kissing 
somebody else in the challenge, even though he was a little bit mad in the challenge. I was like, why did you lie? But it's a little white lie, but it's still a lie. And it's adding up because clearly this man is the reason why he doesn't care because he doesn't like it that much. I can't even. And like that girl, Liv. Liv is freaking crazy. Like actually, like Liv is probably the, like she is a stirrer. Like she literally is more invested in just as I came cut everybody else's drama but theirs like she don't like that man i came through i'm gonna be forcing somebody to do that she's invested in everybody else's like but, yes and not yeah. this but it's not a priority for her she literally said the kiss was like a three i'm pretty sure yeah and like he doesn't even like how she kisses they don't have any like they're just by they're with each other by fall i see i see how came trying but live no and then the way she freaking threw the butt like the way she was acting like she was going to Kayla and then swilled swilled full on <sighs> Leah was like everyone thought that was rude you're a little shady bitch <laughs> come on do it to me bitch everyone thought that was rude and then she was also aggressive with Rob the same way like why matter of fact roll that clip oh, 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 And bringing it back diabolical like what and i don't know i i think Liv and like Liv's giving everyone relationship advice around the whole villa she's trying to be like the mom but like also but she's like the stepmother like the wicked stepmother and then like a good mom sometimes like she gets me so conflicted especially in this episode um and let's talk about the freaking husband and wife the married couple connor and my girl janae they are freaking it. I love Connor and Janae. Like, everyone says their, their relationship is kind of weird. I mean, it, it's not ideal, but I feel like it's not ideal because some of us just don't want to believe it. But, like, I do see they have a connection. I think it's, like, really quirky, fun. And I understand what Janae's talking about, like, with banter. Like, she has real banter with Connor. I don't think she had any banter with Koi, like, at all. Like, her and Connor are laughing, chilling, vibing. And honestly, I didn't even, I didn't even want to look at the screen when they were kissing. Because I literally felt engulfed with, like, embarrassment. Because I was just like, it's, like, too sensual for me. Like, he likes her. Pulled her for a chat. He's fanning her. Like, what a gent. Do I think they're going to last long? I don't know. Like, I'm honestly 70, like, really, you know, like, 60, 40% on it. Like, I don't know. I think Janae's feeling him. I think Connor is feeling her. But I think, but I don't think Connor's going to connect with any of the new girls. I, I do think that's for sure. But I don't think, I think that's because none of them are exactly his type. Maybe Andrea, but mm, I feel like I, I got to I gotta wait till Connor's type really walks in the villa first. Um, and then also have to wait for another person that's Janae's type to walk in the villa as well. Now, Serena, um, I don't know what's going to happen to her. Like, Because, I mean, honestly, Buki, it's giving your times up. And I only say that because unless they bring in some males because quite literally she just told Cordell like and sh shout out to her she should she knew that there were going to be some girls coming into the villa soon and she still chose to tell Cordell because Cordell would have been focused on her if she had it and I respect her for that I hope she doesn't get sent home but it's looking like that if they don't send some guys in here to save her she's definitely going home her or Liv and honestly I, don't, I think I'd rather Liv go because she's just a lot and I want Serena to stay, but Rob, watch, we gotta watch him. We gotta watch him. Everybody watch that man, like truly. But I'm gonna leave off at that and y'all let me know. Y'all let me know, cause this season is hit, hip. I am gonna be posting like, pretty much, this is, I'm gonna be posting like almost every day, but like I said, Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays, I will not be posting because I literally work those days and I don't think I have enough time. Like, usually I work a double on Saturday and I be knocked out. I don't recover from my double shift, which are like 16 hours or 10 hours or 12, till like Monday. And I work a double on Saturday. But anyways, you guys, I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video. And make sure y'all subscribe, please.